Welcome to Eat Healthy, a fun and delicious look at preparing fresh greens and herbs grown locally at Second Chances Farm. My name is Gabby, and I'm very excited to introduce our very special guest today, Chef a Eric Aber, former executive chef at Mid-Atlantic Wine and Food Festival, and our new consulting chef at Second Chances Farm. He's gonna show us how to make a delicious broccoli power salad with herb wonton chips. But first, our thanks to Warehouse, who are letting us cook in this amazing kitchen. Thank you, Warehouse. And also a very special thanks to ShopRite for some of the ingredients that we're gonna be using here today. And of course, all of our fresh green herbs and, excuse me, and greens are grown indoors, vertically, hydroponically, and locally at Second Chances Farm. Hi, Chef Eric. Thank Hello. you for being with us today. Great to be here. I'm so glad you're here. Tell us a little bit about what we are making today. So we're going to do something fun. We're going to make a laminated chip, which basically means we're going to take some of these awesome herbs, some parsley, cilantro, dill, and even the microgreens, and we're going to fold it in between a wonton chip. Laminate just means layer. So okay. we're going to actually make it so you can see the herbs through the chip. And then we're going to serve these chips on an awesome broccoli green and uh, Asian mixed green salad with a honey mustard and orange vinaigrette. So the first thing we do is lay out a few of these wonton chips. You can buy these anywhere, or if you wanted, you can even make homemade pasta and do this with pasta. So I don't have to buy my chips at the store, I can make you them? You can make them. In fact, you can even spray these with oil and bake them in the oven like a kale chip, okay. which is another great use of some of these Second Chances Farm produce. Yes. So we give them a little brush of water here because we want them to stick together and form one single chip. Okay. Otherwise, they might come open like a taco and then we would lose all of our herbs in the oil okay. and it would defeat our job here. So if you'll pick a stem and maybe take one or two leaves, okay. that would be great. And we're just going to put them off to one side so that when we fold it over, you'll actually be able to see these herbs or microgreens in the chips. They have to be very thin because otherwise they would poke through. Do a so any dill herb? Oh, okay. Any herb, yeah. okay. Okay. You can do anything as long as it's kind of flat because it needs to be able to fold in between. There That's going to be pretty too. Good. And then all we have to do is fold, fold them over. Was I supposed to put two on this one? However you can want Can I it. blend the herbs? Absolutely. You can get as creative as you want. Okay. This is such I'm a great project it. for everyone to do together. And all we're going to do is fold it over so that the herbs are trapped inside. Okay. Give it a little bit of a roll with a rolling pin at the end to seal them. Um, and then if you need to, you can use a little bit of cornstarch to dust them so nothing gets too sticky. And that way they all Mine love. isn't so pretty. It's That's not perfect, okay. but it's, it's going to be It's going to be pretty when it comes out of the fire. <laughs> so fold this last one. Perfection is not necessary. Chips don't need to be perfect. You know, they you just need to taste good. Water? Nope. We already did the water okay. on the inside, so now we're just going to roll them roll with okay. the rolling pin. You gotta keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. There you go, I'll yeah. let you roll. And what we have is now the laminated chip with the herbs inside. We're gonna go into some hot oil with that. You gotta be careful, make sure uh, you always have more room in your pan than oil so it doesn't overflow. And what's gonna happen is these are gonna puff up and the herbs are gonna be trapped right inside. Oh, wow. We can do the rest of them in here. Oh, you can do it at the same and time. these are gonna act as a crouton for our salad. So there's a great, um, thing going on here where you get your croutons, your salad, and your greens. So the next thing we're going to do while these fry, and they don't take very long, um, just give them a couple seconds on each side and turn them over. You can see that herb in there is really nice and bright. And they're going to infuse the chips with all the flavors of the Second Chance Farm herbs. Mm, that smells Once good. they're a little brown and golden, we'll take them out and drain. Make sure we shut our oil off because we don't want to have a fire in here. They've got a, such a nice kitchen. We want to be invited back, of course. We want to keep it that way. <laughs> All right, so our chips are out, and this is such an easy thing. These can be made in advance. They taste just like the wonton chips you would have uh, at a restaurant beforehand. And now, what we need to do, because we've got some great greens over here, um, but they're a little tougher than some of the lettuces we're used to. So what we want to do is actually make the dressing first and then massage it into the greens. It's gonna help break them down. So, I'm making a basic uh, spicy honey mustard dressing here. We're gonna use a little bit of our honey. Okay. And I have measurements in the recipe, but for right now, we're just gonna kinda of wing it because 
I know you like sweet and spicy, mm -hmm. so we'll get a little spicy mustard in there. Need my bell. All right. And then, because we want it to be a dressing, we're going to make a vinaigrette. We're going to add a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. And this helps to brighten up against all those uh, green flavors. You know, they, some people might say bitter, but I think earthy uh, and, and very herbaceous. So we've got a little bit of our honey, a little bit of our mustard, a little bit of vinegar, everything you would need. But now my secret ingredient, because I like orange marmalade. marmalade. Everyone just likes saying marmalade. marmalade. So we'll take a little of this, and this is going to give it some sweetness and a whole different flavor. It's going to tie the fried chips together with these greens. So we'll just mix it up, and it looks kind of thick and pasty in the beginning, but you'll see that the honey and the mustard come together in this beautiful, uh, emulsified vinaigrette. And emulsified just means it's all one color and it's all together happy and not separating like a normal vinaigrette. So this is what it looks like. And the reason I made it in the bowl is because now we're going to put the greens in the bowl. And I'm going to let you help with that. Okay. You'll just kind of break them up a little bit. Some of these are hearty. This is a broccoli leaf. It's awesome. It tastes just like raw broccoli. Mm -hmm. uh, it's crunchy. But we want to break them up a little bit. And what and is this? This is a Asian mixed green, okay. and then we have this wonderful bok choy, which gives us all the texture. So they're all greens in this salad, but they're different textures. So you don't have to have so many different vegetables because your salad can have variety just from the choices of the greens. So we put the stem in too? Put everything in there. These it's are edible. all edible and delicious and crunchy, and it gives you the same textures that you would have with other vegetables in your salad. Okay. So you don't want to waste anything. The stems are just as good. And then mm, when you break it, the, the essence comes out. Comes up. Yes. You give it all those flavors, a little mustard flavor, a little bit of um, broccoli flavor, and they go good with the ingredients. You know, the honey and the mustard are going to be reminiscent of a broccoli salad. They're going to be reminiscent of an Asian dish. Um, so one thing I would do is give that a good massage now. You've got the gloves oh. on, and I'm going to have you go ahead and just mix those in like a Caesar salad. You want to mix it in, get it into the greens, and actually let this sit for a this few minutes fun. before we serve it. And by doing this, we're going to kind of break those greens down, make them a little more tender, a little more soft. Ah, and I can smell the vinegar and the marmalade just, can't just go wrong with that. you know, cohesive and delicious. Then we're going to have a plate, and all we have to do is take a nice mound of those greens and put it right in the center of that plate. A mound? A whole big handful. Let's get a mound. You want to be dramatic. We don't want a flat salad. Ooh. There you go. Perfect. And then we have these herb chips, and you can see the herbs peeking through there. And we can just line them around the salad to make it um, a beautiful presentation. Very unique, very um, professional looking, but all it was was a couple of chips and some salad greens. And wow. then because we like a little bit of color and we have these beautiful microgreens, we'll let them rain over top. You gotta have and the garnish. there you go. You gotta have the garnish. And now we can serve this. Kids will like this, adults will like it, everyone loves the crunchy chips, they like the honey, the mustard, the orange marmalade. It's a great way to get you to eat in a salad with familiar flavors in a way you may have never tried before. That is exciting. Well, thank you again, Chef Eric, for cooking with us today. That Pleasure. was a very exciting recipe and I cannot wait to taste it. If you have any questions about today's recipe, just write them in the comment section below. And also, make sure you click subscribe and the button below ring the bell so that you'll miss a single episode a single episode on eat healthy on we have a second chances farm in the warehouse let me put it right here because i think we're going to need to taste this puppy uh, i think you're going to like it i mean you know, i mean we didn't put the effort in of, of creating it i mean you have to taste it we definitely do do you want to take the efforts or should i jump in i, I think we're going to have to go at it together okay well look <laughs> And of course, food. ladies first. Food. I'm going to take a little spoon, a little chip, like dip it in like a dip, right? I can do it like that, right? Make a little taco out of it. There's You've got no all rules. the great greens. That There's no rules. Bright, sweet dressing. Mm. Just a little mustard in the background. Tastes like a summer picnic in a salad bowl. Ah, uh, that's the sound of silence is what every chef wants. If they're enjoying it, you know they're happy. <laughs>